Hey, and welcome to Hanging Out in Hawaii. And this is uh, President's Day. So I just thought I'd take a walk outside. Um, so what you're looking at is, I have no idea, but obviously there's some kind of disturbance going on. Oh, I, was, I wanted to show you something interesting. This is so cool. Um, by the way, I'm on Coheal Avenue right now. But here, this I thought was kind of cool. This, is, I, this looks like it's like a little um, coffee shop maybe. Or they sell snacks or something, a little table. This is in front of the bamboo. But yeah, see, this is a vintage, sorry. This is a vintage Model T, maybe? Go for them. It's definitely some kind of vintage vehicle that, that he, he converted into like a little kiosk of some kind. But no, this is in front of the uh, Bamboo Hotel on Coheo Avenue. But anyways, um, you can see that across the street. So whenever there's a, a crime or something that's being committed or th there's a call, you'll get all these cops that show up at one time. Right? So you have like strength and numbers just in case something goes awry. You got a whole bunch of them at one time. And it's for like the simplest things, but I'm thinking this is probably a domestic violence thing or disturbing the peace. But it's in the afternoon, so I don't know how you disturb the peace in the afternoon. So clearly somebody was uh, concerned about something. So anyway, let's take our walk. And we can talk about things that go on in Hawaii. So yeah, here is the bamboo. Anyways, I'll just keep an eye on them while we walk by. You know, there's so many things that we could talk about uh, regarding Hawaii and Waikiki and other parts of the island. And I like what I would like to get some ideas from you guys if you want to. Just give me some ideas of what you'd like me to cover. Um, regarding Hawaii. And I can also, I'll also be giving you my opinions about what I think is the problem. Not just with Hawaii, but in, with societies, Amer you, the American society in general. Maybe even, maybe even global society. But, you know, it's been, I've been watching some YouTube videos and I'm seeing some really interesting, hopeful things, you know, in terms of a shift in mindset regarding uh, the economy and how people view things and how people are adapting. Oh, here's a cute little uh, restaurant out doors restaurant thing. You can rent a car or a moped. Get a lunch plate over here. Hey let me let let's go take it's it's the uh, blue ocean. So they get all kind of stuff. So this is like the typical local lunch plate, right? You got lobster shrimp, kalbi, coconut shrimp, mahi, lobster prime rib, wow. So what, what kind of prices are you looking at? I get breakfast menu. Yep. Giving shakas when they go by. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the menu. So 
So, oh, not too bad. Like 16 bucks for chicken. 19, 23 for shrimp. Prices go up when you get to the like a mixed plate lamb, uh, meat, like lamb and steak. So you're looking at maybe 29 to $20, $31. That's not too bad actually compared to what you're getting. But you get the average like fish is 17, 19, bowls are 14, 16. Specials. You get deluxe. Oh, they got lobster combos. Oh, it's 50 bucks. Wow. Okay. But you get a lot of variety. Drinks are $2. Yeah, it looks good. Hey, don't feed the birds. Yeah, we don't feed the birds. The birds are like, they're like rats, you know. They carry fleas and things like that. Hey, they got like a, um, a pizza. Hawaiian ham pizza. Ahi salmon poke. They do got a, they got a good, lot of varieties. They got sandwiches, omelets for the morning and stuff like that. Little uh, fruit cups. So this is in uh, in in uh, on on Kohio. Yeah, so I didn't like the fact that they had music going over there. That, that disrupts things in terms of the... Uh, copyright strikes and things like that. So... Here we got a uh, little convenience store. Well, just to let you know, some things that I'm, I, I need to, um, now that I've rebranded the channel, I'm going to need to um, come up with ways to monetize the channel because I, had, I don't have over a thousand subscribers yet. I'm hoping to, you know, because this is basically somewhat of a lifestyle channel as well as um, I know I'm supposed to niche down in, in terms of a topic but you know I have a lot of interests and I think there's a lot of people out there with different interests by the way that, that hotel right there is the Prince Cohio and It, um, it is where they had the famous Mac 27, wait, no, 20, uh, 24 7 restaurant is. And that's the one that has the, the famous uh, pancake challenge. And I think the guy from uh, Man vs. Food, he came here and he couldn't do it. The pancakes beat him. I think, I don't know, was it um, Adam Richmond, I think his name is? The first guy. The fr now they have this other guy doing Man vs. Food. But, yeah, this is the hotel, and Mac 24-7 is inside. And it's like a 24-7 restaurant. Um, they have a new magic show in here. I don't know if you can see that little awning that's sticking out there. You see the little awning? This is the magical mystery something show, and it, it's a it's a magic show like for small like a, it's like an intimate venue kind of a magic show. You see, you get close to magic. It's not like big stage magic, and it's supposed to have a vintage feel to it, like the time of Queen uh, call it uh, Queen 
Lily Ogani type of time and, and David Kalakawa time. So maybe like a big Victorian age feel um, or Edwardian feel on the decor on inside. Now I haven't I haven't done that show. I haven't gone there and seen that, but uh, I saw a little video online about it and, and, and on TV. So they w they did a little, I think they did a little special on it during Halloween time because people like magic and things like that. But anyways, we're gonna go move up to um, Kalakawa because it's we're on what street are we on we're on lily okalani avenue okay got abc store over there yeah thanks a lot buddy I, that's one thing in hawaii i don't, I don't particularly care for, but i think that ca that's all over the U u.s i don't think it's that specifically to hawaii is when they blast the the radios and stuff like that so this is like a little side street um this hotel right here this hotel and we'll get, oh, i'm gonna do a, a a little tour a walk around in there one day so if you're interested, please subscribe. By the way, yeah, I need, I need to, to um, invite you guys to subscribe. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. But anyways, the, the t name of this hotel is this. Here. Aloha Yelani Resort. And this used to be the Pacific Beach Hotel. And the Pacific Beach Hotel was really famous for its aquarium on the inside. Now, I, I did take a peek in here. Um, it's a self-parking full sea valet. Hmm. Okay, but I did take a peek in here a couple of, during COVID time, when they were, they were doing the changeover. <laughs> and th there is still a aquarium in there. It's just, it, it looks a lot different than it used to. It's kind of more, it's more partitioned off. It's not just a big, huge tank anymore. But they do still have it in the bar or a lounge area, I should say. Ah, here's something interesting. The, it's called, this is the Waikiki Resort Hotel. And again, we'll we'll take a tour through that one day. You know, only 24 hours in a day. Oh, here we are, coming to the Waikiki Beach Tower. Is it really a tower? Oh yeah, it is. Go go figure. Okay, so kind of a tower, anyway. Um. Ooh, ooh, somebody's sprinkler is broken. There's water in the street. Okay, but this is the Waikiki Beach Tower. See that? Oh, here. Sorry about that. And... Oh, we're coming up on the McDonald's here. Now, there's two McDonald's in Waikiki. One here and one on Kohio. And the one on Kohio has all kinds of stories to tell. This one, not so much. This one, I, I'm not sure if it's open 24-7. I think it is, this one. Unclear. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little sign for that hotel. So, you know, subscribe and one day when I get around to 
touring that hotel. I mean, it's not like there's, you know, it's not like there's a, a shortage of hotels in Waikiki. We'll get around to it. Don't worry. If it's not this one, it's another one. Um, they have this really ritzy hotel right up the street over there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's up in that direction. It, um, it, they opened it up and it's like supposed to cater to celebrities and stuff because it's very expensive. But hey, there's something right off the coast. Hang on. As we cross Kalakaua Avenue. Okay, so this is Waikiki Beach. Oh, and it's President's Day, and check out all the people. So I don't know if you can see that because it's way off in the distance. But there's a ship out there with, a, with those big ball GPS things on them. Mommy asked you not to get naked right there. Hey, 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 hey. Anyways. So anyways. There's the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, which we'll take a tour of one day. So it is a crowded day today. But it's very sunny. It's a good thing. Check out all those people. So anyways. We're going to take a walk. To the wall. The wall is good. I mean there's a lot of things here in Waikiki that we can get, go explore. Such as the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. We passed by there the other night. When I did my my night walk and chat, and I was just talking about how I'm rebounding the channel, and how you know I'm I'm planning to talk about different things, and I know that there's a lot of people who think, oh, you need to, oh, high coffee, high coffee. I know there's a lot of people. Oh, there's like a little lunch place here. Huh. Queen's Arbor. Serviced by Kai Coffee Hawaii. Huh. Okay, so this is some ideas I was having. Um, you know, maybe I can have some coffee here. Yeah, we'll, we'll test the coffee. But I was also hoping that... Um, some coffee? Because I um, I need to uh, monetize the channel, and I I put a link in the description for um, for buy me a coffee if you'd like to support the channel. Um, I'm in a place in my life where I need to reassess. What I what I'm doing, and um, oh, by the way, this little place here is called Cheeseburger in Paradise. This was a place, the the company where Jimmy Buffett had an issue with the name of this of the place, Cheeseburger in Paradise, because he had a song something, and then he felt it was like some kind of infringement. So he took them to court. But it's still place, the place is still called Cheeseburger Paradise. So I think he lost it. Um, I don't know whether he thought it was like, a, a, like people would mistake Cheeseburger in Paradise for Margaritaville. Because that was his thing. But I think he lost the case because it, it's still there. Uh, now today, 
I would have liked to have gone out to the North Shore. By the way, in the distance there is the Sheraton. You can see the Sheraton. Sheraton and the Royal Hawaiian behind that tree. And then you have um, some folks out there doing the waves and canoeing. They got some canoes out there. But yeah, so Waikiki Beach is definitely one of the more populated beaches on just an average on an average day. So if you go around to other uh, around the island, you'll find a, a few more, you know, I don't want to say secluded because that's kind of um, you really have to go far, 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 far away from the city to find a somewhat secluded beach, meaning or at least a less populated beach. If, that, if you're into that kind of thing, you know. It's, but then it takes a, lo a long time for you to drive back to the city. Uh, I've done a few videos um, on this channel, if you want to go look for them early on, where I went out to one of the North Shore beaches. And I can show you how, I mean, I can literally show you how secluded it is, or desolate it is. There's not a lot of people out there. And, it's, and it mostly caters to the locals. Oh, look how fast that, you can see that, how fast that canoe is coming in. And you got airplanes taking off in the distance, coming, going. Huh. But yeah, we're heading out to the wall. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, right across the street. This is the Damien and Marianne Cope of Molokai Education Center. And it's basically a museum dedicated to Father Damien of Molokai. And behind that, I can see the steeple. There you go. That's St. Augustine Church, Catholic Church. And if you go in there, it'll tell you the tale of good old Father Damien. And I will probably be doing a video on Father Damien sometime along the, uh, down the line uh, when I got some time. But right now, I'm trying to be more regular in doing walk-around videos and uh, sharing what's... You know, this is the lifestyle right now of, of this more... Um, tourist area there are other places on the island you know farther away where it's not so touristy but you know you still can find a lot of history here the statue is of Prince Kohio Prince Kohio he died in 1922 born in 1871 Prince Kohio, he had a he he was in Congress. He was, I think, I believe he was Hawaii's first congressman. I don't know if he was a senator or a representative. I think he probably he was probably a senator. And then now our senator is uh, Brian Schatz. Oh, here, here's a little placard dedicated to Mr. Uh, Kohio, Prince jo Jonah Kohio. the chief of the commoners. So it gives a rundown of in, in, in detail of um, a little history of him. And his service to Hawaii. I would, I'm, I would like um, if uh, some feedback about what you guys would like to see. Then I can definitely go see if I can like do a walk around there or check it out. So here's another hotel. 
right here. I'm not sure which one this is. This I think this is the Marriott. If, it's, if this is not the Marriott, then the one next to it might be. What does it say? It says the Cohio Beach Grill, so that's not it. Yeah, I think this is the Marriott Waikiki. I don't see any signs in the front though. It's just all businesses. Ah, uh -huh. here they got surfboard rental. And paddleboard rental. Hey, we got tiki's. Wood carvings. You know, when you're, um, if you ever go to the North Shore, if you drive along this long Kamehameha Highway, there are these, there's, um, I think there's more than one, but I know that there's like these wood carver guys that they do business from their homes and they put out these huge tiki's on the front. You know, you'll see all these, like, this, all these big carvings like of sea turtles and tiki's and all that so i mean it's an invitation for you to stop and take a look if you're into that kind of thing but it's kind of interesting i mean you know you're like driving along the road and then all of a sudden you see these huge tiki's it says the twin fin is that the name of the hotel you know the the the, the um, turnaround for a lot of the Waikiki hotels to where they're being renamed and bought out and all that business goes really fast. So this one is a Tiki's Grill and Bar. I did have an open mic up there once. Yeah, that was long before COVID. So. Long before the CV19. Yeah, I heard they're getting really sensitive about stuff like that. So I'm going to probably be using code words for certain things now. Just so that we don't get flagged and I'm shot out of the... I'm shot before my horse even gets out of the gate. Let's see. I mean, I, they can't really take away monetization because they've never given it to me. But, you know, I notice that on some of my other channels that are not, not um, that know where I don't have a lot of subscribership and, and but they've been, the, the videos have been up already for quite a while. They're running ads on my videos. I can't even monetize and get paid for my work. But they're running ads on those videos. You know, that's not fair. But I've been working on YouTube for almost 10 years and I've never had a really, really um, big successful channel. I'm hoping that this one becomes the, the best channel that I've, that I've ever had, you know, and I'm going to try my best to be consistent in terms of putting out videos at least maybe once a week or once every two weeks or so. If I could do it more regularly, I will. But this is the wall. This is where you go out there. And the, the wall, I see the wall, it's like a break, it breaks the waves as it comes in. So it separates people from the ocean so then they don't get swept out. And there's a, a little doorway, sort of, like, a, a overlapping of the wall at the corner. So you people can swim outside and go surf. Now, I don't know if you can see that in the distance, but um, you see those mountains in the distance? That's the west side. That's, like, the Eva side. Um... 
or at least it's in the direction of the Eva side. If you can still see Diamond Head, then you're you're on that. I think people can still see Diamond Head from like Kayana Point. I think so. I'm not 100% sure. I know maybe Makaha even. But I think Makaha is on the opposite side of that. So I don't really go out to Makaha that often. But if you guys want, want me to go out there and do some video, I can do that. So share your thoughts with me. And we'll see. Uh, I also want to kind of, I wanted to talk about other topics, not just Hawaii in itself, because, you know, you, obviously you can see what's going on out here. I think that's a fishing boat, or, I don't know, or is it just a charter? But you see those little boats out there, that, you know, that's for the tourists, people who can go out to the water and have, some of them, they're not, they're, they're not dinner cruises because it's too, too early for that. It could be lunch cruises if they have that. Um, I've, I've done a dinner cruise one time and then I learned that I am allergic to scallops as well as I can get really badly seasick. So I, I, unless I'm taking Dramamine, I probably don't, I've never done it again. I don't have sea legs. Oh, look how pretty these hibiscuses are. They're nice and full in bloom. and Look how pretty. I was surprised that the rain hasn't taken them down. Oh, yeah, but this is nice. Isn't that pretty? By the way, I'm going to be making a calendar for next year of, the, uh, of it, you know, like a collection of things that I've places that I, I've we've gone to and um, oh and here is the monk seal statue the surfer and the monk seal by the way you're not supposed to get that close to monk seals here in Hawaii it's illegal you can get badly fined you're gonna get a fine for it but occasionally we get a monk seal on Waikiki Beach down by the end, by a pa little bit past Queens Beach. Okay, so here we are, the wall. And across the street is the Honolulu Zoo. And Queen Kapiolani Regional Park. Now I'm gonna go do a tour of the park one day. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you some history about it, at least what I know. And you'll get to see, see, see the park as I do a walk around. And we can talk about stories and things. But yeah, here's the, the famous Waikiki Beach. And we're on the wall. I came out here uh, last year, I think it was, because of the high waves that we were having. And I got a video out there that talks about the high waves on the South Shore. And I was standing out here. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go quiet. <laughs> But yeah, so there was some music back there. And I hope I'm not gonna get hit with a, a copyright strike for that. 
But here's the other side. That's the diamond head side of the uh, of the wall. And there's another wall out there. They got uh, like humu humu nuku nuku apawa'a fishes near that one. I was trying to get some video of it a couple of, uh, last year with an underwater camera, one of those like GoPros in the in the inside the, the water case. And I was not successful. They kept running away. I might give it another shot though. This what the closer you are to the reef over here, they do have fish. So they do have fish in here. Like little tropical fishes. Like the angel fish. Yeah. I know they have needle fish over here too. They had a whole bunch of needle fish out there. You see that, that hotel? That's where they have the, the monk seal. When the monk seal comes on shore and then a couple, they had a, a, some lady get attacked by the monk seal and the mama. That was the place way out there. Let's see if I can get it. That, that one, yeah. So when they do have those those monk seals out there, they'll put the fencing around it. There we go. So if you're watching this video and it's like a little little mini vacation here. All these girls, like some school troop or whatever. Yeah, some, there's some kind of school troop. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're a choir or they're here on a field trip. Okay, here we go. You can see this. This is on the back side of the wall. So, yeah, they're a choir. That's what I thought. They're singing.
Over. I was sweet. So yeah, you know, you know, you know, have these, they have these uh, choirs or, or clubs or something, and they want to take a, a field, uh, a trip for they come to Hawaii. Maybe they're in a competition. So that was pretty, and that was a little impromptu performance there. They need to go further out if they're going to do that. But anyway. So we're going to be heading back. One day we're going to go into the uh, Honolulu Zill. They had a contest recently. Or they wanted people to vote for them to, to make them like the best zoo in the country. I didn't get a chance to go online to vote, but we're going to see. We're going to go in there and we're going to see if they are the best zoo in the country. Because they had lost their accreditation a while back. And so I think they've made their whatever improvements they needed to do. To, to, to at least make an attempt at that. Here's a placard that talks about the era of Waikiki. It says photos circa 1900. Hmm. Here we go, Kalakaua Avenue. There's Lulu's, the restaurant up there. So, yeah, as I said, um, I do would like, to, I would like to um, start monetizing this channel. And um, so I'm going to be having some affiliate links in the uh, in the descriptions of it, of my videos, 
not just not necessarily just just this one, but um, you know, for things like Hawaii products, like coffees and can- candy, and because Hawaii has a lot of the good macadamia nut candies, the chocolate covered macadamia nut candies, and the and different types of coffees. So I was hoping to get some affiliate links with the coffees because coffees is, coffees has a lot of good uh, health, a lot of good health uh, benefits. Oh, here we go. Here is the wood carver. Got a wood carver. I guess he. I guess he made all this stuff. Kind of cool, yeah. Oh, so they they rent beach chairs, they rent umbrellas, they rent surfboards and paddle boards. <laughs> so, as I was saying earlier, one of the products that I'm hoping to make by the ending of this year, be ready, maybe around October, I'll probably release it around October, uh, will be a, some calendars that are uniquely for this channel, meaning places that we've gone to, videos that you've seen, and you'll be able to buy those. You have to set up some kind of a store thing. But yeah, you know, I've been seeing all these videos online about um, people quitting their job. Aha, uh-huh, another one. Every single day, there's always a guy doing a wheelie. Every single day. When I go out driving, I see a guy doing wheelies. So, so I was th- I've been thinking about um, changing careers. Let's put it that way. Because I'm I'm getting a little burnt out on what I've been doing for the past seven years and. Oh, here's something nice. This is a man-made little waterfall in Waikiki. We got little, we got plumeria trees over here. And I think that, um, it, you know, it's a good thing. It, it's a good thing that people are wanting to get away from the nine to five grind and, and go out and create their own businesses and spend time with their families as opposed to, you know, doing, making other people rich. And by working regular nine to fives. Oh, yep. 
they got, they got those little boats that go out there. Can you see the yellow boats? Two of them. Take tourists out. And then they got the canoes. And the little surfers. A lot of activity. <sighs> and the reason that I'm really, you know, contemplating leaving my nine to five, or my regular job, is because I'm, I'm basically becoming, it's taking a toll on my health. And that's kind of why I want to add like a little health a expect, uh, what you call it? aspect, a health aspect to my channel and talk about that there is definitely a lot of health uh, benefits about Hawaii, you know, or at least, you know, t taking time for your life to take a little mini vacation. So, one benefit of this channel, if you should choose to subscribe, is that it's, it's like taking a little mini vacation. You get to see new stuff that we're from wherever you are. And that can definitely relieve your stress. Just a little taking a few time, taking some time to sit and watch what the people are doing in Waikiki, or in Hawaii, or on the North Shore, or on the Windward side. I was hoping one one little goal I was hoping to do was see if I can get video of all of the free hula shows in Waikiki because there's a se there's several. But I'm usually working. This huge banyan tree. Okay, so here is the, that hotel I was talking about earlier, Espacio. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the hotel that is for the, the really rich people, and the hotel um, it kind of caters to like the celebrity crowd, the really rich crowd because each floor is in a, a room unto itself. And so I think they only have about maybe what, nine rooms? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rooms. And it's like the whole floor is the room. All right, so we can, we can afford that. I don't know what the pricing on that is. But but, you know, it caters to a specific, and it's right smack in the Waikiki. And I think it used to be uh, an Aston Hotel. There it is, the Hyatt Regency Waikiki. The two, the two uh, towers of Waikiki. Here's another uh, surfboard rental place. You can rent umbrellas and stuff.
This is this is the um, statue of Duke Kahanamoku. Yeah, so I did I did a video um, last year talking about Duke Kahanamoku and the people that I met who knew Duke Kahanamoku. So that's the, I think when, okay, so I think it's in the video about the Moana Hotel where I talked about the people that I knew who knew Duke Kahanamoku or the people that I have encountered. So Duke Kahanamoku, Duke Kahanamoku he, was, he, was, he's the, he was the guy. He had a big history. He was even the sheriff of, of Hawaii at one point. Then we got more hibiscuses. This is the state flower, by the way. That version, the yellow version with the red in the center, is the official state flower of Hawaii to be the red hibiscus but then for some reason they chose to change it and we got a police station and then there's a, a bistro it says Waikiki B-side bistro down there and there's a, they sell food on the beach video. This is the extension from the old days. They extended after they, you know, the, the original hotel was just that part right here, further down. So then they extended it into a modern part. And I think there's another extension on the other side. So they got art galleries. There is a um, We're going to try some coffees around Hawaii and then I'm going to There's a coffee shop up there, it's Honolulu Coffee Company. They have a bigger place down by the convention center, across the street from the convention center, that um, shows you how they make the coffee. From the beans, you know, the coffee grinding and all the roasting and all that business. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for following me. And we're gonna be taking a few tours of the uh, some other hotels besides the Moana in other videos and thanks for joining me for today thanks a lot aloha and please subscribe if you haven't uh, if you're interested in make a donation to my channel and help support the channel I have a link in the description for buy me a coffee and hope to see you again thanks mahalo bye